go um, view and I'll introduce all the guys. There are first year students at film school. Um, that's Buzz, Nani, Lauren, and Nathan. Last season I was digging in Peru and we were excavating on the side of a slope. So we dealt more with a five by one meter trench where everything was in line with uh, all the other trenches and you didn't have to deal with the cave wall, you didn't have to deal with cleaning the cave wall. So uh, this, this excavation opportunity is just completely different from what I'm used to. And uh, it's definitely neat for me to pass through a medieval layer and act as if it's almost of little importance uh, just to be trying to find a layer that's more than 5,000 years old. So uh, it's been pretty interesting for me. And, uh, going through all these dung layers is quite fun. We are starting excavations. We have started excavations on Trench 2 this year. We um, have already removed the dung layer, which was about 35 centimeters deep. Um, we, in some places, are beginning to reach the what could be the first cultural layer. The soil has changed, so um, we let that area alone. We're moving on towards the beginning of the trench to excavate out the remaining dung layer so we can start careful excavations bit by bit of the first cultural material. We don't have any interesting finds yet, or any at all. We just have had a couple of bones, burned wood, um, as you can see here. Um, very dry, very moist. I'm sitting in uh, Locus 14, one of our clay structures, and I am collecting soil samples from the section for uh, micromorphological analyses to see what exactly the composition of the soil is and um, things that we won't be able to see with the naked eye. Massive amount of pottery and some bones and some, yeah. yes, some megafaunal sheep.
Can we start with yeah, here? Yeah, I think we're going to play don't play. Hmm? Yeah, I think we're going to play don't play. No? No, that's what we do in general. Can you do something here on this? Oh, yeah, I'm just trying to...